Hi everyone. Well, we have the sweetest and very simple project this week. We are creating a wreath of words. So if you like to do word of the year, words of the year, or you just wanted a really simple, fun painting to do, I've created this whimsical wreath and I have a couple of words for the year that I'm going to end up after this all dries, adding to them. But this is very whimsical. Pull out your micron pen. I do end up coming back and writing and doing some more detail work. And it's really, it's really just fun. It doesn't take a long time so if you're having a busy crazy week and you just want some creative fun to do for a couple of minutes this project is for you hi everyone well we are back and uh, we are doing i'm doing a beautiful wreath but it's going to be a word wreath so you know how often people have like words of the year i was just thinking it would be fun to have a wreath of words so we're going to paint a wreath really free flowing I was doing a miniature one over here and you can see too how it's very very loose I've got budding branches because I was thinking about different words and how we're hoping that maybe some words or maybe it's prayers or whatever it might be for you that you're wanting to see grow this year and that we were just going to do something really soft and organic but flowing I love the idea with twiggy wreaths as well where when the wind blows through them or if it throw, blows through budding branches you can smell them right you can smell the branches you can just smell see the leaves going or blowing even in the air um so again very free very loose i ended up taking uh this little guy and just taking my water glass and sketching out the round area so that i would be um not totally totally off center and then taking well really I just have a hard time trying free, free circles that end up being circles and then building off of that main circle. So what I'm going to start is I'm actually going to start with some green and just a little bit and I want to just touch and I'm not even painting the full leaves but just starting to do a little bit of touching where some of that green is. Not a lot because I want to come back. I'm actually going to add a little bit of pink for those buds. Again, just a little bit. I think I'm going to add even more this way, making sure you can see that. Let me come in just a tad bit so you can see what I'm doing there. And I'm gonna back this up just a little bit. You can see that I sketched everything out with a micron pen. It just took me a couple of seconds really to sketch that out. Super easy. I've got my burnt sienna now and I'm just gonna go, and I'm gonna go over some of these main branches. You'll notice I'm almost, in a sense, outlining because I want to come in with another color brown and I don't want it to be brown blobs. I want there to be some distinguishing areas. And also if I, if you do decide to write on the branches, I want to leave space that you can leave room for words or sentences, prayers, maybe even put in like a poem or something and weave that, those words into the wreath. But I just, I love the idea of, um, and I, of a wreath of, a, a, a wreath of words this year. Last year, I had created um, like a floral, it was kind of, it was a kind of a, a floral frame where the flowers were surrounding, they were kind of all around and you could put your word in the middle and that was fun too, but it's fun to change it up each year and then it's fun to have a project where if you don't really feel like doing any sort of like word of the year, that's just not your thing or whatnot, you can just still create a really beautiful painting that's just really lovely in and of itself, right? So you can see too, I'm working around in a circle. You'll see that all my wreath, all the twiggies are going kind of in a similar direction. They're all winding around like a clockwork in, in some ways. I'm also making sure to maybe like going over here and making sure I've got like a thicker branch here. And I had sketched in just a bit of a thicker one here. And remember the watercolor always dries lighter then when we set it down, so even though some of these areas look dark, they're not going to be quite so dark. And you can just even add more of these little, kind of willowy like twiggy leaves coming off. Now I want to come back down. I do need some deeper, darker color. I'm going to grab some raw umber just a little bit and I'm going to set it down here. And that's a bit of a different color. Oh, I think I'm getting my hair in the camera. I'm sorry about that. Just moving this out right in here. A little bit of a colder brown. And I'm using a small paintbrush this morning. I think it's a size four. Get everything nice, nice and wet there. Adding a little bit more some of that color in here. 
letting the watercolor do a bit of just what it wants to do. Dance a bit all over the page. Oh, that was a bit dark. If that's okay though. That's fine. We'll let some let's spread that out just maybe I'll even do a little bit of a we'll use that pull it pull that paint out there even pull it up just a little bit okay now that I have that that was looking really nice I'm gonna do some more right in here just some light okay now I'm gonna grab the pink and if I have an even tinier paintbrush. I think I do. I'd set my bag here because I'm thinking I want to add just a little bit of pink. I was not traveling far, but I brought a bunch of paint supplies with me. I like to have them on hand. You never know when you want to just sketch something, right? So I'm going to pick up some pink now and I'm going to kind of dance in here. Even just a uh, Pretending these are little um, blooming, budding branches. I'm just putting it at the edge, not even at all of them, just in some of them. I'm gonna come back in with some more green as well. Just a little bit. I'm gonna get that a little bit wet and I mean, I might just do some pink splatters here. And then even up here, I'm just gonna paint, add a little bit of pink and let that kind of just move around in here. Just a little bit of a color. I'll take that other paintbrush and if you think that's too much pink I might even come through and I'll just gently point that down. Pull that around a bit. Pull it down over here. Just a little bit of pink moving down mm -hmm. and just let that go all the way down. And that looks nice. And I'm going to put a little bit over here too. So almost like we're framing in the wreath. Again, not tons of color. I'm just using a lot of water too. And letting that just settle down in there. Add a little bit more pink and water. Not a lot. You could even just dip it in. And maybe a little bit in the center over here. Not too much though. Soften that up a bit. I'm going to pick up some green. And I'm going to come back over here and add in, again, again, it's, we are still in the thick of winter. So while there is some eager buds popping out here and there, not too many, right? So just, just a little bit. I'm gonna come back in actually with my brown. And we're really, I'm, we're getting close to being done with this first layer. That way I've got lots of room to write. We have lots of branches that I can write on. I really like the free flow. I might do some splattering after it all dries a little bit more. We could certainly do a little bit of splattering down here as well. And I can just even take some splatters just around that side. I can take some brown. I can go back in. I can take even some green just to add a little bit of fun. And if you find that they get blotchy in there, I can just come back in and just dab them on just like that, and that looks really, really pretty. And I think that looks lovely. I'm gonna go ahead and just let it rest and let it dry. I'm gonna go ahead over here. I'd like this, oh, I got something on that wreath. I want it to come out a little bit more in a circle, so I'm gonna carefully add just a little bit more of a shape right here, and you can back up and see if there's any other branches that you just feel I need to give those a little bit more weight so that it looks like that the branches that could actually hold. And if you feel like it looks too faint, just give add some depth and add some darkness with some more, some more um, contrast. The dark against the light will do a lot to just kind of bring the painting, increase its, its liveliness. Okay, that looks really fun. And I will go ahead and show you what it looks like as well when I go ahead and add my words. And then I think I'm even going to put a hole at the top, put some ribbon in, and then just hang it somewhere. And I'll show you what that looks like too. So have a beautiful Wednesday as we create our, our wreath of words together. I'll see you guys soon.